Welcome. We are here today to talk about a very hot topic, pun intended. We're going to talk about water heaters in RVs, trailers, campers, you name it, on the road, water heaters. So in this video we're going to walk you through why we chose the Fugatti Insta Shower 8 Plus. It's an amazing model. We are very happy with it. We've been living with it for a couple months. I would say I don't even look back at the tanked heater because of it. We're going to talk about why we chose that one, all the pros and cons that come along with any tankless water heater, um, but this one in particular, and of course encourage you to uh, consider whether or not you want to have a tank tankless water heater in your RV, your trailer, uh, your motorhome. First thing we want to talk about is the standard water heater. If you go to an RV lot or you buy a used RV, chances are you're getting a standard tanked water heater. The normal standard tank water heaters are usually around 6 gallons to 12 gallons and that is not a lot of water. You can heat them up typically with either shore power, 110 electricity, or on propane, so there are options there. As Lindsay pointed out, 6 gallons, 10 gallons, 12 gallons usually maximum. Um, we challenge you to determine how much water that is when you take a shower at your house, measure out what 10 gallons is, and that's what you get with a standard water heater for a camper. And most of those standard water heaters, um, they need to be cleaned out often. And some of those have anode rods, which have to be changed out periodically, like every six months to a year. So there's a lot going on with your standard tanked water heater that is great for life on the road. We have lived for over five years on the road with a standard tanked water heater. But we made the decision that we wanted to go with an on-demand tankless water heater um, because we wanted to combat all of those negatives that Lindsay's pointed out. So let's talk about the pros and cons of an instant water heater. I like the pros. You do, you do the cons? No, I love the pros. <laughs> she loves the pros. Look at this pretty hair. This, this is all thanks to our tankless water heater. Getting into the pros, obviously the very first thing that makes it a pro is that it is instant. It is on demand. So as long as you have propane in the tank, as long as you have water in your tank or you're hooked up to city water, uh, you are going to have hot water instantaneously, which is probably the biggest pro and why anybody would ever want to consider that. So with the tank water heater, one of the big cons is that it takes about 20 to 30 minutes to get that hot water. So you have to plan out your showers, um, when you're going to wash dishes, all of that. One of the big pros of the instant water heater is that it is very efficient. You might think it wouldn't be because it's constantly has it's constantly using propane to heat up the water, but we've been on just a standard grill size propane tank and it's lasted us I think over a month. Yeah. We've gone over a month without running out of propane yet. So that's been really nice. And I'm spoiled. I shower twice a day. Yeah. I go exercise in the morning, I shower, go to work, come back and shower. Lindsay gets her shower in each day. And we are not taking military showers. Nope with this water I'm also now. washing all the dishes and I'm just letting it run because we are we are currently we should say as we're doing this video we are currently in a full hookup situation so we have unlimited water coming in and unlimited plumbing obviously when boondocking that changes a little bit and we'll talk about that in just a minute the next great thing is there's no guessing about the water temperature you can actually set with a thermostat and usually a, a, a digital readout you can set what temperature you'd like for the water to come out with your instant on-demand water heater that's not the case when you have a standard tanked water heater. You're just pressing the on button or however it works with your particular model and it's just heating it up and then it spits it all out. And as it's spitting that water out, it's also pushing new cold water in to fill the tank up. So you're actually getting the first bit of water might be hot and then you're dealing with a lot of warm water. So it's really great to have a digital setting where you know all the water's coming out at say 112 degrees or 118 degrees. That's definitely a pro with a tankless water heater is this digital thermostat that you can set so you know exactly what the temperature is going to be. In fact, with ours, do we even need to use the cold water? I do a little bit. Sometimes. So yeah, when I'm we could set the temperature higher and then mix more of the cold water or we could set the temperature lower and not have to mix as much of the hot water in. Which is nice. As much as the cold water in. I don't, when I shower, whatever it's set at right now, I don't touch the cold at all, which is great. we set at 112 right now. And when I'm washing dishes, again, I don't have to guess that water is coming out at 112 or whatever Lindsay said it's set at. So it's really great. That is definitely a pro of going with a tankless water heater. 
because you're able to set the temperature and you know what it's going to be and you don't even have to mess with the cold water if you don't want to. So the next great thing about the instant water heaters is that they are smaller and they are lighter weight. Um, because they do not have that holding tank, you're saving about 50 pounds of weight from um, not carrying that extra water in there. And it doesn't take up as much space uh, they, because they don't have that tank that's holding 6, 10, 12 gallons of water, not only the weight at 8 pounds a gallon for water, but also the size. Um, and so you can get some storage space back depending on where, of yeah. course, where it's located. Yeah, it still fits in that same hole that your old water heater came out of, but you get more room because there's not a big tank there. Um, we have ours, ours is under located under the kitchen counter, um, kind of off from the sink, and we have a lot more space from where that old traditional tank, tank heater was. So. Which, which is great because as you know in RV life, space comes at a premium, so wherever you can save weight and space, it's a bonus, and that is definitely a pro of going with the tankless water heaters is you can get rid of that tank, get rid of all that space, all that weight. As Lindsay pointed out, another great benefit of going with tankless is that they are maintenance free. There's no anode rod that you have to change out every six months or 12 months. You don't have to flush out the tank and get any kind of calcification that's in there. You don't have to worry about it rusting out, which we found out was a very serious issue with ours. They are maintenance free. They're plug and play for the most part. And we'll show you that in an install video where we installed ours. It's relatively easy to install, but they are very much, once you get it set up, you just have the thermostat that you can change with the remote, set the temperature higher, set the temperature lower, and you're good to go. And that's something that's very beneficial on the road because there are a lot of maintenance things that you need to keep up with. There's a lot of things when every time you set up camp, every time you break down camp, things you do every so many miles to keep up with your vehicle and so forth. So not having to worry about it is a big check in the box for me. And by far my favorite pro of the tankless water heater is unlimited hot water. I can, I don't have to take any more military showers. I don't have to lather up. I don't have to suds up my hair with the water off and get all cold. <laughs> it's so awesome. I can take a normal shower now and it never run out of hot water. I don't have the problem with doing my hair in the shower, but it is nice to know, again, it's unlimited and not have to worry, well, when is that six gallons gone? And when is it gonna go from hot to cold? Or spacing out in between our showers. Lindsay would always get to take the first shower. She gets the hot water. I get whatever's left over. That's okay. It's not the best scenario. This definitely going tankless has solved that problem for us. Now moving into the cons of the tank tankless water heater. Um, we love all the pros about them, but the biggest con really is all of all involving the amount of water that's potentially wasted because you have to pipe water into the water heater for it to start heating up and then uh, it takes a certain, a certain flow of water. Like you can't have the nozzle half open. You pretty much have to open up the shower entirely or the sink entirely to get that full flow of water to go in to activate the water heater so that you can get that hot water going. Which isn't terrible, but it's not necessarily the best thing for boondocking. Another con is that because there is no tank, there is no extra leftover um, warm or hot water. So say like we had done, Chris had done dishes first thing in the morning, I washed my face um, later on. Um, there is no, I have to basically turn the hot water back on um, to get that hot water and then waste that little amount of water to get the hot water back into the sink. Whereas before with the traditional tanked water heater, um, I usually had that wa hot water still left um, in the hoses or in the little bit of that tank left. And so as Lindsay pointed out, it seems like a relatively small con, but it was always nice and convenient to know that we didn't have to uh, go through that process. Again, wasting water is the biggest thing. We love boondocking and so this is new for us trying to adapt ourselves to having this when we go boondocking. Um, but there is that little bit of water waste that takes place with a tankless water heater. Another con is that we have an oxygenic shower head with an on and off um, switch that you can basically turn off the water from your shower head without turning off the faucets. Well, the new instant hot water heater does not like that. Um, as soon as you turn that, that little nozzle button on to save water, 
it basically cuts off it cuts off the water heater and then you're going to get a huge gush of cold water when you turn that back on so if we are boondocking and we can't take that unlimited um, hot shower and we have to take a military shower um, we can't really use that on off switch anymore we have to completely turn off the actual faucets just a little hot cold hot cold back and forth something that may not seem like a con at first but it definitely can be is the fact that with a tankless water heater you have only one power source they are primed on 12 volts they run on propane in terms of the flame and so that is it and if you ever ran out of propane and you weren't around um, to be able to get a refill there goes your hot water if you ever had any issues or whatnot with your your 12 volt connection um, that's that's a, a challenge um, because before or with your tanked water heater there is an element a, a 110 volt element um, electric element where you just turn it on and it'll heat that way and at the same time you could be using propane to heat at the same time or you could go either or obviously if you're boondocking you're not using your 110 you're using your propane however it is important to point out with your tankless water heater it's just it's just propane so you got to make sure you factor that in and you plan for that and hope we don't have any electrical issues that might prevent you from uh, from being able to access it and overall it is not the greatest thing for boondocking um, which we have pointed out a couple of times here on our list of cons we love we love we love boondocking and conserving water of course is important so when we boondock as Lindsay pointed out we waste a little water we try to collect that water in a gallon jug when it's coming out of the sink the cold water for the hot water pushes in then we can put it in the dog bowl or we can put it in Lindsay's many many plants we can do what we need to but there are some little tips and tricks to try to you know make the most of the boondocking case but if you are going to be spending time in campgrounds it is a no-brainer if you're going to have a full hookup it is an absolutely no-brainer to go with a tankless water heater even if you're not going to be spending you know 100 percent of the time in campgrounds if you're going to boondock a day here or there um it, it's it's again it's a no-brainer so why did we choose fagotti it's got a cool name it does have a cool name <laughs> rolls off the tongue nice Fugati is an amazing company. Different companies we reached out to and got no response from or minimal response. Fugati was amazing in terms of their customer service. Um, they've got a great team that we were able to work with. As we were asking questions like, do we really want this? We reached out to them and we spoke with their, their head of technology and their, or their chief engineer, got to find out some answers that really made us feel like, yeah, this is something, something we can go with. Can we install it ourselves? Got some great feedback about that. We asked about the water flow issue that we've, we've discussed. All kinds of questions that we had as we were doing our due diligence. Because if you're going to invest in a water heater like the one from Fagati, you want to make sure you're confident in that decision. So I think the very first thing was their customer service was great in terms of being able to help us feel really comfortable with that decision. They also had really great reviews. I really did not see a whole lot of negative um, for their water heater and they actually specialize in plumbing and water heaters they even make water heaters for traditional houses not just rvs so they are specifically i mean they make water heaters that is their thing so it's They're not, not just an rv manufacturer yeah it's not like a lot of companies that have a lot of different products and this is just one of the products that they have fagotti is an expert in making these and they listen to the feedback and they've evolved over time like our insta shower 8 plus is a newer model based on some of the shortfalls that people had pointed out with some of the previous models so we love the fact that they specialize in them and that they're open to making them better based on user feedback and other ways of improving the quality of their products fogati is a great value when you look at replacing any water heater is going to be a costly decision which is why we hope you're watching this video to try to learn from us some of the decision making that goes into it you're doing your due diligence replacing a standard tank water heater is only going to be slightly less i think when we were shopping around a couple hundred dollars at most these fagatis are incredibly well priced for all the benefits we'll talk about that they come with um, in addition to all the pros of just a tankless water heater this is a great value and we talk about value a lot of people are missing that these days and they just want to buy the lowest cheapest whatever and in some cases you can get away with getting the cheapest whatever but you might have to rebuy it or whatever 
we are super happy with the value that Fagati offers, the long-term value, the fact that it's maintenance-free, um, the fact that we were able to save money on installing it. I mean, there's just all kinds of benefits to um, the value offered in going with a Fagati Insta Shower 8 Plus model, which again is a recent, most recent, most amazing version. The Fagati fits in a standard six gallon water heater hole. So if you have the standard six gallon water heater, if you buy the Fagati, it should fit perfectly in your RV. It also comes with the door. I've seen that a lot of the other competitors um, do not come with the actual door. You have to buy it separately. Fagati comes with that. And ours was pretty much, it was almost plug and play. We'll um, talk it, about that. Well, and we'll talk about that here in a minute. Some of the technical specs with Fagati that makes it, again, a great value and a great decision. 55,000 BTUs, which is more than enough. If you look at some of the competitors out there, some are higher, some are lower. 55,000 is plenty hot, as we mentioned. And the 2.9 gallons per minute flow rate will make it seem as though you're in a home shower um, or, or an RV park. You won't feel when you're taking a shower, again, on a, on a full hookup, you're not going to feel like you are skimping on the quality of your showers or of washing the dishes. The flow rate is great, the temperature is going to be great, and, uh, and you're not going to run out of, out of that hot water. For any of those worried about the high altitude issues that some propane appliances have, the Fugatti has a 5,000 altitude uh, rating, so it will work at over 5,000 5, feet in elevation. So if you are camping in the mountains, um, there really isn't that much of a worry of if it's going to work or not. It also comes with this great digital remote, and that remote will tell you any type of errors that it might have. It will also help you set the temperature if you want to have a lower you know, temperature so you don't have to turn the cold water on when you're showering, or if you want your showers very hot, you can set the temperature up, I think, as high as 118 to 120 degrees. Uh, it's pretty cool. Yep. That, that remote definitely comes in handy. Um, it has a nice long cord on it. We, you can, you know, cut a hole out and insert it somewhere, but we just have it in one of our drawers in our kitchen. And one of the so. times the remote was cool, it was talking to us, it was beeping, and we're like, what the heck is this? And it was because we ran out of propane. And so it, it basically, yeah, yeah, it sounded off an alarm letting us know that we were low on Which propane. was great because I was just about to hop in the shower and that would have been a very disappointing shower to think that I was going to have the hot water and in fact it wasn't. So the remote is, is great. As Lindsay said, you can set the temperature. The range does go up to 124 degrees, um, but you can set it whatever temperature you want. So again, whether you want to mix it or not mix it, that remote is, is phenomenal. Another great thing about this particular Fugatti Insta Shower 8 Plus is that because they know people like to RV and like to go off road when they're RVing and they've listened to feedback over the years, this thing is rugged. It's made to bounce around. It's secure. Again, we'll show you, uh, we've got a video about our install and show you how securely it, it is installed, the lighter weight, all the, the things about its dimensions and everything make it so that it can handle bouncing around, which is one of our favorite things to do when we go RVing. We love spending time in Baja. We do a lot of bouncing around. We love going the back, back roads in Utah, bouncing around. So it is made for RV life. And as we pointed out already, as Lindsay shared, Fugatti specializes in water heaters. And so they know in order to make a water heater rugged, they know what they need to do. And we have so far had no, no problems with bouncing around with our hot water heater. And finally, the Fugatti Instant Shower 8 Plus is relatively plug and play. Uh, they mentioned that it should be a DIY install. Um, we did have help installing ours and I'm kind of glad we did have that help because we did run into some small issues, nothing too big. If you are a handy person, good with plumbing, you can probably do it yourself. We could totally have done it ourselves. If, if you've seen our remodel video, you know we remodeled our camper entirely ourselves. Our issue is we were on the go from one place to the other and we reached out to Fagati and said, hey, um, we're in the area. Any chance you guys could jump in and show us how we can learn how to show other people how easy it is to install? They said swing by. Really, again, really awesome customer service with that. But with that being said, it is mostly DIY. There were a couple things that we noticed with ours, like the plumbing didn't fit perfectly for both the propane and the water. So we had to go to Home Depot and buy some adapters. The, the flexible hosing. 
so that we could connect more easily because the old tank was six gallons so it had the back of it that was six gallons extended but the Fugatti was a whole lot shorter and so that was just a little hiccup that if you are expecting to pull into a Home Depot parking lot and do the swap out right there it might take a little bit more might have to run inside a couple times but it is a mostly do-it-yourself if you have the basic plumbing skills basic electrical and maybe a little basic carpentry um, it's definitely something that you can do yourself in installing this. As Lindsay shared earlier, it fits perfectly inside the Atwood and Suburban 6-gallon. Um, if you have the 10 or the 12-gallon models, you do have to add a frame. There's a separate frame that they sell so that it will fit into that larger space, the larger hole, when you take your old um, tanked water heater out. But in terms of the 6-gallon, Atwood or Suburban, it fits right in there. And that's, that's an amazing thing. Definitely a reason why we love having this particular model, the Fugatti Insta Shower 8 Plus. But yeah, there, there were just a couple of hiccups. Again, we're linking to our video on the installation itself. You can watch that right here. Which you will be able to see step by step. We walk you through exactly how to do the install yourself, how to swap it out. One great thing that we noticed about ours, which you would see in that video if you go over and watch it, is that we probably had another three months or so with our water heater before it was going to totally rust out. And that's not because we weren't monitoring it and we weren't changing the anode every six months and flushing it out because we did that. It was a previous owner that we bought it from. Ours is a 1999 Shasta Cheyenne Class C motorhome, which means there was almost 20 it years. Had, it had the original water And it had the original it. water <laughs> heater in it. And we found other things that the previous owner had done that kind of abused the RV that we've had to kind of deal with. And the water heater was definitely not maintained first time we cleaned it out we had big old chunks of calcium coming out um, from the, that good old Alabama water there um, where we bought the RV from. Anyway this is an amazing opportunity to upgrade to the Fugatti Insta Shower 8 Plus. Um, I don't look back at all. I don't regret at all the decision to get rid of our tanked water heater. No, oh, I don't regret it at all. <laughs> no more military showers. <laughs> all that pretty hair of yours. <laughs> We do have a couple links that we've dropped for you. You can go read them in the description about where you can buy the Fugatti, um, as well as information that we have, support information for how to install. You can go check out that other video about installing it. So you can get confidence that when you purchase your Fugatti Insta Shower 8 Plus, you're going to have the same excitement that we have. You're gonna have the same experience with doing your install. It's gonna be a quick swap out. You're gonna immediately feel all the pros of going with that Fugatti water heater. We think you're going to enjoy it. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Like it if you like it. Leave a comment if you have any questions also. Leave any questions that you might have that we'll try to do our best to answer. And again, subscribe to our channel for more information like this about how we are pursuing abundant life on the road. We want to help you make the most of that as well.